Today we're going to try to recreate this flower as accurately as possible here in Illustrator. Step one, click on the fill here, click on the none, click on the stroke so it's going to be on the top and let's select the circle, press and hold shift plus alt, create a perfect circle. Now we're going to go to the pen tool, long click and select the anchor point tool. Click on this anchor point here at the top and at the bottom as well. So this way is going to remove the handles. Now I'm also going to select it and I'm going to stretch it like this, scale it down and I'm going to create another copy, press and hold alt, drag it to the left. And now I'm going to select the direct selection tool and select the top anchor point here. And let's go to the anchor options and click on cut pad at selected anchor points and also select the bottom one and cut this as well. Let's delete the right one. And let's select the left, press Ctrl C and let's go to the edit, paste in front. Now this is going to create another copy on the top. And now I'm going to distort it and bring it in. So basically this is the correct way of doing it. So I'm going to select both. Let's go to the object, blend and make. Select all, press and hold alt, drag it to the right. Also press shift to isolate, press and hold shift, rotate it upside down and let's connect these together. Now if the gap is still too big in the center, you can select the direct selection tool and select this anchor point, press the right arrow and select the right anchor point and press the left arrow. So you're going to bring it together a little bit better. There you go. Now we're going to group them, select both, press control G to group them. Let's go to the stroke, increase the stroke thickness and go to the stroke settings and go to the stroke profile, select the first one here with profile number one. And I also going to increase the stroke thickness even more. Now let's select the other shape and select the rotate tool, this one right here. Press and hold Alt and click on the bottom anchor point here. Click and type in 45 degree angle. Click on copy. So we got two shapes. Select both. Press Shift plus M. Or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool here. Press and hold Alt and delete these two shapes. Now let's bring back the blend and I'm going to select both and let's go to the align, align it vertically like this and I'm going to position it perfectly in until they intersect. Now let's select this line here with this cutout shape and I'm also going to swap it from stroke to fill so you can see it and I'm going to recolor it. So as you can see, it's on the top, but it's very important to put it on the top. So right click, arrange, bring to front if in your situation is not on the front yet. Select both, right click and select make clipping mask. I also gonna make the top edge rounded. So I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select the anchor point at the top and you got here this little circle and just drag it and it's gonna make it rounded. And you also can see these lines are thinner than these inside. So I'm gonna double click and select the interior shape and I'm gonna press and hold Alt and just bring them in, see that? Double click somewhere here, so it's gonna release it. And from here, all you need to do is select it and go and select the rotate tool, press and hold Alt, click on this anchor point at the bottom, type in 45 degrees, click on copy and press Control D, Control D until it goes round and round. And this is how you make this beautiful blend flower here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.